If you're new to Google Ads and you go into the Google Ads dashboard and you're still trying to fumble around and find out where everything is, don't stress because in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the layout of the Google Ads dashboard. The warning that I do wanna give is that unfortunately, the Google Ads dashboard changes all of the time and it also changes at different speeds. If you're managing multiple Google Ads accounts and they're in separate Google Ads accounts, it's a very, very real chance that those two dashboards will have slight little differences differences. So even the layout might be the same, but you might have some data that's available in one dashboard, which is not available in the other dashboard. And I do know that this is sometimes a bit of an issue when you are watching Google Ads tutorials like this, because the dashboard that I have could be different to the dashboard that you have. But even though there are some slight little differences, the core foundations are the same. And that's what I want to do in this video is give you the basic layout so that you can then find whatever you need to inside of Google Ads, regardless of whether you're looking at the most recent update in Google Ads, or you may have a slightly older version. The reason for why it's so important for you to understand the user face of the Google Ads dashboard is because if you don't firstly understand the, the layout of the dashboard, it's gonna become really, really hard or gonna become harder to complete those Google Ads optimizations. And as we're speaking about Google Ads optimizations, I do also wanna let you know that if you are new to Google Ads or even for people who are more experienced with Google Ads, I've got a free strategic way that you can optimize your Google Ads accounts. It's had well over 100,000 downloads because it's so practical in the way that it really lays out how you can optimize your Google Ads campaigns. And if you wanna get access to that free Google Ads optimization checklist, always you need to do, follow that link in the description below. And this lays out how to optimize all the different types of campaigns you'll need. So search, shopping, performance max, display, video, and even demand gen. All right, but with all that said, we're gonna jump into a screen share. And the reason for that is because I want this to be as practical as possible. So we'll be going through, you'll see my screen, and then I'll be talking you through some different elements of how to navigate the Google Ads dashboard. Let's go. The first thing that I really want you to understand when it comes to navigating the Google Ads dashboard is that there is three core columns. You can see from here is that it may look like there's just two columns, but if you go through and press up what we call the burger menu through here, you'll see that there's one and then there's two and then there's this third column. And the way to, I guess, to explain it would be like this, is that this is your core navigational menu along the side. So you're looking at, you know, you've got at the top this create option. If you roll over that create option, that's where you can do everything from starting a new campaign, a new ad group, looking at adding in some new assets. And then you've got these different core headers, which is your campaigns, your goals, your tools, your billing, and your admin. Now I'll go through and explain all of these core areas. And to be honest with you, the main menu you're gonna be using is this campaign menu. When it comes to your goals, this is obviously where you're setting up your conversion goals and your conversion actions. Then you've got some different tools, and this may be some things where you complete things like your keyword research, your planning research. You can also link in your Shopify account. You could link in your Google Analytics 4, link in your Google Business Profile. And this is also areas where you can go through and add in some scripts. Now you may not know what we're talking about with some of these areas in through here. And if you're new to Google Ads, it's probably not gonna be something that you're gonna be going to too often, especially after you've set up those initial integrations with Google Analytics 4. And then obviously billing, this is where you add in your billing, you know, surprise, surprise. And then there's also your admin. The main thing you're gonna be doing in the admin is if you ever did need to go through and add in a new user. So let's just say you wanna assign a freelancer or you wanna assign a digital agency or someone else on your team, you would go through and do it in this section. But as I said, the main area I want to really focus in is on this campaign area. One of the things I do want to point out as well is that this is a newer feature in this little burger menu in through here. And you can see that it does hide a lot of the data. The advantage of this is that when you've got this burger menu closed, like it is right here, you can see you can see a lot more data. And that's going to become really, really helpful when you're into it and optimizing your campaign. You'll see Google has added in this top little insights, to be honest with you. I don't like it. But hey, we don't control the dashboard. So I generally will ignore that. But where you want to really be going into is if you want to go into your different campaigns, you can see your campaign view from here. This is the next thing I really want to talk about. When you're looking at campaigns, you can see from here, you can pop up and you can go back to your overview. I do like this overview. Uh, the reason why I do generally like the overview is because when you're going through and reviewing accounts, you can grab a larger 
amount of data. The one thing I do want to let you know in through here is that when you look at this main dashboard, you know, you can obviously add in some different metrics that you want to go through and review. But the one area where people do get lost is this filtering. So the first thing you need to remember is that there's three main columns, the two navigational columns, and then the core data column, which is takes up the vast majority of the screen. But you also need to remember that Google has added in these filtering columns at the top. And you'll see it in here. So at the moment, we are in the overview section. When we go into the campaign section, these filter sections are in here and you just need to remember it if you have added some filters you may not be seeing the full amount of data so what you can do is you can filter this by you know different campaign types you can select individual campaigns so let's just say that we're in the overview section and we're only looking at one campaign and we're just going to select this campaign in through here so this data is only for this individual campaign if we were to switch it over to another campaign you can see that you're seeing different amounts of data so let's just go back into all campaigns you can also add filters now some of the times I would find a, a, a filter to be really really helpful so let's just say we've got campaign name and we don't want it to contain our brand so if we want to take out our brand data so we're saying show us all of the campaign data except for any campaigns which are targeting our branded keywords you can do it in through there we're just going to remove that filter so the next thing you want to be thinking about is just using these filters and I do see sometimes when I'm taking people through on different coaching calls or different initial consultations that sometimes they'll get lost and it's because they've got a filter on so just make sure that you've got these filters and you can turn them off and add them out when you want to be going. All right, so when you're now in your individual campaign, so let's just go into our top spending campaign and let's open up this second column because we're gonna be looking at some different things in through here. You'll generally see underneath the campaign, you've got some different levels. So you can see from here, because we're dealing with a performance max campaign, it's only looking at asset groups. If we were to go into a search campaign, it changes to ad groups and ads. So these things do kind of change around when you add in some different subcategories. But generally what you're looking at in through here is that you've got your different campaign level then when you go down into your assets this will be all of everything to do with your ads your site links all of your different assets in through there and then you've also got your audiences and keywords and content if you're an e-commerce brand and let's just say we are in a performance max campaign you'll also see that you've got this product section through there so this does show different elements and different data points dependent on what type of campaign you have running but the main thing to really really let you know is that there's really two main areas of this section and when you see this campaign level through here everything to do with campaigns below is specific to the campaigns that you've got selected so if you've got all of the campaigns you can see all of the data there if you've only got individual campaigns it shows you some different options but then Google puts a lot of this data into the insights and reports once again with these insights and reports you get different levels of data so let's just say we were to go to a performance max campaign it's given us some extra features in through here so the way that I want you to think about this below the line in this campaign section that's going to give you data that's really really specific to the individual campaigns that you selected the insights and reports is where you can get some more in-depth data you can look at things like the the search terms you can look at things like where and when your ads have shown for people who have been doing Google Ads for a long time this is what used to be the dimensions report so you can see when they showed where your ads were showed so the main thing I want you to think about is when you're in this insights section as well is remember that Google will sometimes show these different headings up through here so before I show you one quick hack, there's really three main things you want to be thinking about and remembering when it comes through to navigating the Google Ads dashboard. The first one, I want you to remember there's three main areas of the screen. This core menu, the sub menu when we select it, and then we've got all of our actual data in through here. Then we need to remember the filtering options. Remember that we can filter this down by campaigns, campaign types. We could even choose individual ad groups and we can add our filters in through here. And then when we go into the individual campaigns, this is where we get into the real meat of where we want to be optimizing. So that's where we're looking at our asset groups, our ad groups, our different ads. So if we go over to a search campaign, you can see this is where we've got our ads, where we can go through and see the ad details and also add in extra ads. But the last thing I want to show you and if you ever get lost, this is gonna be the easiest thing that you can do is don't forget the search bar. If you just go up to the top and let's just say someone's told you that you should check out your audiences. If you were just to type in the word, start to type in the word audiences, you can see you've got all of the different options and it's navigating you where to go. Let's just say you wanted to see something about your ads. And if you go through and just click ads, that takes you to the direct screen that you wanna be going to. So if you ever get lost, just go to the search bar and 
it's got some really good navigational options for you. So I hope that's really given you a quick crash course on how to navigate the Google Ads dashboard. And remember, if you ever get stuck, just go through and use that search bar. And if you can't find anything, just make sure you haven't got any filters on that are hiding you from certain data. Finally, remember, if you did want that extra help with that strategic plan on how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns, remember to follow that link in the description below. And if you wanna see some extra teaching right here on YouTube about how you can optimize your search campaigns, go through and watch this video right here. Or if you'd like to see how I optimize performance max campaigns, go through and watch this video right here. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. It's an absolute pleasure. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy, and I look forward to seeing you on one of these two videos real soon. See ya.